Welcome. I'm Roland Grouse, Product Manager at Agoric, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to set up your wallet for the Agoric beta. Let's start on the page that you've likely landed on uh, if you followed through from the beta site or our documentation. And this is the steps to set up the wallet with Docker Compose. So you will need to use the command line here and work with Docker a little bit if those things are unfamiliar to you. Uh, hopefully this video is enough instruction to get you going, but uh, if you have questions, please do hop in the Discord and ask, and either someone from the team or someone from the community can help you out. All right, uh, so let's go through the things I've got open right now. So I've got my instructions open. I've got a tab open with the Agoric Discord, which is on the Faucet channel. Um, I have VS Code open just for a terminal, and I've got Docker open. So to start with, the first thing I'm going to need to do is get the docker-compose.yaml file, which is linked here in the uh, in the documentation. So if you just click this, it'll go straight to your downloads folder. Uh, I've already pulled it, and all you need to do with that is make sure that it's in the Active Directory that you're working in. Uh, so I happen to be in a directory that I've called ag solo here. It's really arbitrary; it can be whatever you want. Um, that docker-compose file is the only file that I've got in this folder, and that's totally fine. And uh, with that, I'm just going to run these three basic commands to get running. So I'm going to pull down the latest Docker image. And for me, this will be fast because I've done it recently. Uh, for you, you're going to have to pull down a decent amount of additional stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to bring up that Docker image directly. All right. If I look in Docker here, I've got uh, an ag solo running. And when you see the words ag solo, what that means is Agoric solo machine. So uh, our wallet includes some processes that are running on the client side, and we call that the Ag Solo. All right, and now I'm going to run this command for to see the logs here. And if I look at the documentation, it's going to walk me through uh, the kinds of logs that are going to get generated. Uh, but what I'm really looking for is this message that is going to give me a, an address and a, a message to send to the Agoric faucet, which is in our Discord. Um, so you can see this has already come through for me here. Uh, and it's going to keep repeating. So don't worry, these messages aren't different. You can see the address is the same each time. So just copy one of them and it'll work. I'll take this one here. Go to the Agoric faucet. Paste that message in. And that's going to ask the faucet on our side to uh, provision me with a few different tokens. So we'll wait for this to, to clear here. It should only take a couple seconds. Yep. And I'll get a mention from the bot. I got the little check mark here. And you can see now that uh, the, the process has already seen it. So I see the message swing set running here at the top. And you can see in the documentation that uh, that is what I'm looking for. So now I can actually stop the logs. I'll just abort out of this. Great. And now I'm at the last step, which is I'm going to run this command and uh, open, create a URL for my wallet. So I'm actually going to run it without the REPL uh, thing here. You, you can choose to run it with or without the additional REPL on the wallet. And with that, I'm going to get a URL that looks a little bit like this, and I can just paste that directly into my browser. All right, so I'm going to pull that up in Brave. And one thing to note um, when you're working with the Agoric beta, if you, it, the wallet is fine, but um, in Brave, you will need to disable the Brave shields uh, because we're, we're doing some communication back and forth at this blocks. So this is going to take a little bit of time to load because it needs to pull some stuff from the chain. Um, and you can see that it sort of discusses this uh, a little bit in the documentation here. The page will be inactive while it does a few on-chain transactions to locate issuers and such. And what that means is that uh, you'll be getting provisioned with tokens and each of those tokens, um, for example, a fake Atom token uh, in testnet, uh, that has to talk to the Agoric chain to be sure that it understands who's issued that token and that when it talks to somebody else that claims they have an Atom token, that it's the same thing. Uh, so. Once that loads, there will be a few different purses and there will be some balances. So let's see. Yes, so you can see here that the purses have been populated. So I have a purse. Uh, each purse is specific to uh, a, a given token type, but I could have multiple of the same. So for example, I could have two purses that hold Atom tokens and one could be for staking and the other could be for speculation or something, whatever I want to name them, frankly. Um, so these are the currencies that I have been provisioned with. And again, these are all testnet 
cryptocurrencies on the Agoric platform. None of them, you know, this is not a real testnet atom. It is a, an Agoric fake testnet atom. Okay, um, and with that, I'm gonna go through the first step of connecting to the treasury app, and then a, a later video will walk through what to do with the treasury. All right, so you can see I've got a little notification here. I'm gonna disable this um, for Brave. And I get a, a notification that to continue, please approve the treasury DAP in your wallet. Um, if you don't get this notification after a few seconds here, it's worth uh, ensuring that you've disabled either ad blockers or uh, any of the Brave Shields and just refreshing the app. But here, if I jump to the wallet, I can see now that I've got an application that claims to be the treasury. I can see where it's coming from and I've got a suggested pet name for the treasury. So this pet name is whatever I choose to call it and treasury is fine with me, so I will leave it, but you could change that arbitrarily if you wanted to. So I'm gonna hit enabled. And in a few seconds, uh, the application will see that and will start to load. So um, with that, I think I'll stop this video here and then start again when the treasury is connected and we can run through what to do with vaults and then separately what to do with the auto swap. So thanks very much and I'll see you soon.